Hello everybody, this is Kathleen Alcala. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing good. I was just fooling around um, into Saturday and I just didn't know what I wanted to make right now, but I thought, I feel like dying. I had all this white um, linen like this. It's pretty in and of itself for sure, but I got so much of it, I thought I need color. So what I started doing, these are really wet. I just barely did this. I started using some of this Distress Oxide colors by Tim Holtz, our ranger. And I just want to show you this here is this. See, isn't that pretty? Okay, you know what? Let me bring my light back down. <laughs> okay, there's that. So I don't know if you can see the difference between the two. It's very subtle, but there is a difference. One lighter, one darker. This, I put like two smudges on here. This one I put one, because I thought that just felt too dark. I don't know why. I just wanted it lighter. So I thought, let's let's color. I'm gonna show you something else I just did right now. So I was decided to turn this green from this color here. It's very, very light. I'm thinking I could darken it maybe by doing um, more ink on it. But I kind of see, I'm, I love light tones, so I'm really not wanting to go dark. This is very pretty granite. I was trying to put, I put um, some of the green on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's almost no difference. It might just be the coloring is too, um, I'm gonna try it again because this is pretty and I, I just want some different colors, you know, when everything is white. Um, so I just put that on there, throw a little, a little water on there. I put a lot of water because um, when I didn't put a lot of water, I felt this just was too dark. It absorbed it crazy quick too. So I just wanna see what this is gonna be like if I was to try that. See? Of course, this will be cut out anyway. Do you see a difference at all in color? A little bit, right? Well, I feel like having that. I want just some reason. <laughs> you, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm working on my favorite things journal. And so I've been working on trying to get things made and ready for my favorite things and I like this but I don't necessarily like the color just all so flat it is beautiful it's a champagne tone however I just want to change it up a little bit so I like that guys just a little bit of color a little bit with the pearls on it it makes it hard I'm going to show you one that had a lot of pearls and it was incredibly difficult okay so I think that's probably as good as it's gonna get yep okay see I like it. it's just a subtle little bit of a change but see for me um, when I'm doing my journal this is what I like so okay put it over here to dry so <clears throat> you know what let me get a tissue to just dry this up <laughs> okay so this was sort of like um, this color see it was not easy to dye this one. I really wanted it to get into a blue tones because I'm I'm contemplating, one, I wanna do blue page on my favorite journal, but also I have a little journal I'm working on. So um, what I had to do with this one, I first tried it with the water, how I did a minute ago, but with this one, what I ended up doing was wetting my finger, as you can see, look at my finger. <laughs> I just went along and pressed some blue into it. I didn't want it to be completely blue like those other pieces. I, I wouldn't want that on this. I just wanted hints of blue. 
and so that's what I did um, is just put a little bit of hints of blue and um, I'm liking it better than I it was probably the other way um, I would I could see where you'd want to use a paintbrush to get into the fine details but I'm not that particular I also like things that are not solid and perfect that is probably why I am not loving this um, yeah that's just too blue to one color one dimensional and I like that this <clears throat> is not like you could almost believe that this was a faded vintage it was blue once upon a time and it faded through time and there it is <laughs> that's the look I like so let's try <clears throat> some other colors so this of course is my all-time favorite I could I could dye everything in this tone I got so many different things to dye, you guys. Ugh, it's wild. Mm, like that would be pretty in that tone, yeah. Or just a little snippet flower. That. Ooh, look how pretty this is. I love the softness. Let's dye some of this. Isn't that pretty? I love soft lace. Okay. So this one I'm going to use a little bit more because there's a large piece. I have water bottles everywhere. Putting a little bit more water because <clears throat> it, <clears throat> excuse me, it is a large piece. Sorry if I reached over you guys. <laughs> I feel like that's rude when I do that. Let me get some water. I should have brought something to drink. My tea is not around. That's what I like to drink on weekends. Okay. So, see how this color almost looks to me like a orangey tone, right? That's how I see that color. I'm wondering if I put a little bit more ink, if I can get... No, I guess it does come out like... Um, it's called Victorian Velvet. So, let's just mix it all in together. Okay. Okay, so, ooh, look how fast it absorbed that. The back, the front, everything gets absorbed into this pink velvet color. I hope there's some areas that are not solid pink because, ugh. <laughs> but very strange places did not get the pink. So you know what I might do, you guys? I think I'm gonna put a little bit of water. See if I can wet this piece just a little bit and get, and then maybe try it this way. I actually wouldn't even mind if it was faded out a little bit. So there you go. That was now the color. And that color is Victorian Velvet. See? Isn't that pretty? I know it's wet and needs to dry. But look it. If you just wanted to cut little pieces off, how pretty would that be? Like, look, at, let's just cut this little flower off. Ah! I did a poor job. Okay, look. And so when you're making a page, I have these little post-its, so I'm just going to stick there. How cute would that be? You know, just a little something of a different color. Okay, so I tried velvet. Let's pile this somewhere over here, out of the way. Some other colors. Let's see what I got. Now, I don't want to use super bright colors um, because I know I won't use them. Um, I've never tried photo. Let's do this color. I've never actually tried brown. <laughs> um, maybe it will turn the things in vintage mode. Let's try this. Okay. I did see one piece I remember thinking might be kind of cool for a darker vintage looking. Let's see. Let's try not this one. 
not this one. I got a lot of beautiful pieces, but I don't want to use necessarily use everything. If uh, this one to me, sorry guys, this one to me is more of a um, a mystery if I'm gonna like it. So there's this beautiful piece here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it, guys. See, that's just too dark for me. I am going to water that thing down. My dogs are restless. They're wandering back and forth underneath my table to underneath the sewing table. <laughs> I'm not sure why. At least they haven't barked yet, right? That's like a big giant plus. Okay, let's get more water going. Let's put it on that actual piece. I'm gonna get some of that brown out. I like the idea of it looking vintage. However, I don't know if I necessarily want complete brown, you know? That might not be that pretty. Look at so far. Some pieces have not gotten a lot. Other pieces have gotten quite a bit. Let's see if I can. Okay. So that is vintage photo. I could probably make that darker. Um, as you can see, start seeing that that's kind of darker, but I don't want it that dark, but it did turn this into kind of a, I don't know, not quite a manila folder brown, but soft coffee brown, I guess is what, what I'm thinking in my mind. So usually on pieces like this, I would never actually use the whole piece. I can't imagine using it like this but you never know i'm that kind of cold because it actually looks aged so if i wanted to maybe part of my long vintage one that could possibly work um maybe something like that of course cutting off all of this but that could be pretty together the color combination Move that aside. This is pretty wet. I'm going to wring this thing out. So that's the first time I ever used these colors like browns. I never ever have done that. It's always been pinks. I'm going to put it on this glass I happen to have sitting there. Okay. Let's see. We're not using that. Let me get this out of there. We'll pull out some more colors and see what I got. Of course, more Victorian velvet because I can't go without that. Scattered straw. Uh, uh, yellow. <laughs> I don't know if I can do yellow. Okay, we're going to try it. Okay. <laughs> can you tell I'm not a yellow fan? I don't, to be honest, I don't know if I've ever even used this. <laughs> okay, let's give it a shot. I, it could be very pretty. Buttercups. I like buttercups. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Can you tell I put a ton of water in it? Okay, let me grab another piece. Hold on, guys. I got so much stuff. It's all sitting behind my desk. <laughs> let me pull out some things. Uh, what do I want to use? Hold that thought. Uh, hey, okay, I found this. Okay, let's try it. Actually, that's kind of pretty. What do you guys think? That is scattered straw. Look at the difference. Hmm. Okay. I like it. I probably would actually use that. 
some stuff I would not use, but I would use that color. I'm not a big yellow fan, but you know what? Yellow and blue does look really pretty together. I like the color combinations. So there's a good chance I would use that. Not that exactly, but you know, other blue with, with that. Okay, put that away. All right. So these are probably all just the browns. Oh, here's red. We gotta try red, right? Ugh. Ooh, that is really heavy red. What is this? Fired, fired truck. Oh, it's fired truck. Yikes. <laughs> That's really red. <laughs> that might be Christmas time, a Christmas situation. You know, speaking of Christmas situation, I bought these flowers that were on, on sale from a site and they are so red. Okay. I mean, like I, and they're so monotoned. I think I'm going to have to bleach them. Let me find one little thing to use. Hold on guys. Okay. This is too pretty to use that color. I can't do it. Simply calmed. But what do I have? Okay. I have this horrendous butterfly, but I'm not going to use it because somebody probably really like it. I'm going to pull just a very small piece <laughs> because I don't see myself liking this color, but I could prove myself wrong. As you all know, so far I like the buttercup and that was not my favorite. <laughs> okay. Wow. This thing is not taking the color very well. See, it doesn't want to be dyed this color either. <laughs> it's saying, Hey, why did you pick me? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just a funny moment. <laughs> oh, yikes. Yikes. Do I like that? Uh -huh. I don't think so. <laughs> so glad I snipped a piece off and didn't do a big, giant, large watch. Let's, let's compare. <laughs> let's co compare it to the actual. Okay, so this <laughs> was the original color. Right? I snipped it off of here. Look it. Now let's see if you guys actually like it. Let's see, look how dark that looks. So it did come out lighter. See? But I don't really care for it. It's not... It almost... Look, see this color? Guys, can you see that? It's almost like a um, peachy red. I don't know. Not my favorite. Okay, so I think you guys get the hang of it. Just have fun. So these are the things I, I accomplished today. This still is my favorite with the green leaves. I may leave this actually white. I haven't decided yet. I might do the soft pink. Okay, why don't we just do it and see what happens, yeah? Okay. I wonder if I can just dip this in without getting on the green. It's too dry. It's not taking it. Well, what would happen if I just did this? <laughs> yeah, that's... Okay, so I think what I'll have to do is just a little bit of water. I don't want to be too bright because this is so soft. Just want to see if I can get a little color in there. Yep, I like it. See, I love that. <clears throat> um, it's doesn't isn't so bright. Let's see if I can get these other little flowers to be the same. You know what would be pretty? I just thought about it. It's actually use different colors for each flower. Won't that be pretty? I do have quite a few other colors. Um, that are in another location. <clears throat> okay. So, I think that's good. See? I wonder if I can do one bright piece right there in the center. There you have it. I did it. I did it, guys. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful afternoon. I hope that everything goes well for you. And I will be talking to you soon. All right, you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.